welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Lexi so today I have a what I eat in a day video on my new series called 25 pounds in six weeks this is episode three so if you miss episode one and two you're definitely probably gonna want to stop this video go check out episode one and episode two so that way you're not confused of what I'm talking about but for my family that is been a part of this journey and you guys are ready for episode three we're gonna go ahead and get started so I want to kind of start off by sharing with you guys what I've done so far this morning and then kind of bring you guys along the day with me of like what I will eat on this meal plan so if you're new here I am trying to lose well I'm not trying to I am going to lose 25 pounds in six weeks and I've been following a very strict meal plan I've shared all of that in a recent meal prepping video so definitely check that out if you missed it but today I thought it would be very helpful if I kind of just like shared with you guys what I've been eating and kind of what I've been doing to lose weight so I started the challenge a week before you guys did so if you're doing the challenge you would have started on January 18th if you're seeing this video after this definitely feel free to start whenever you want to it's just a six week challenge um, I started the week before you guys because I really wanted to be able to produce these videos for you guys in a timely manner, which means I needed to start it a week before you guys. So I told you guys in my last video, which was my meal prepping video, that I was down at six pounds. So I got on the scale this morning right before my kickboxing class and I was down another two pounds, you guys. So I'm officially down eight pounds and I started this on Saturday and it's Friday when I'm filming this video. So it hasn't even been an entire week. So I am just so excited. I'm here to motivate you guys and to tell you that if you're following this meal plan exactly the way you're supposed to follow it and you're getting those three workouts in or more a week, you're going to see the results that you want to see. So just had to share that with you guys before we get started. So I got up early this morning. I was up super early. I got up at five. That's typically the time I get up. I used to get up at four, but now I've changed my schedule to get up at five and I just kind of did my morning routine. So what I've done so far, I know I didn't like document this part. I had a cup of some green tea just zero calorie green tea really good I've kind of replaced tea with coffee which has been really nice so I had my tea and then I had my pre-workout let me see if I have it so this is the pre-workout I've shared this on my channel before and it was in an Amazon haul I love this pre-workout it's 10 calories for um, a serving size so you get two spoons of this and you get water and it's 10 calories I use this to really just be able to power through my workouts it gives me so much more energy to really like get the best results um, so typically I've been doing kickboxing and typically in a workout class I've been averaging about four to like 500 calories. I burned 648 calories today, you guys. So I feel so good. And I think I burned more because I haven't really been having the pre-workout consistently. Um, but I'm here to tell you that works. So if you need like an extra push or motivation, definitely consider that. It's like 20 something bucks off Amazon and I think it's worth every penny. So I did my 9 a.m. workout this morning and I worked out from 9 to 10, came home, showered and got ready. Didn't want to be all hot and sweaty for this video. Um, usually I don't do my workouts in the morning. I've been going to the afternoon kickboxing class, but since I'm working from home today, I thought, you know what, I'll just go ahead and go to the morning class. So it kind of put me behind my schedule. I'm usually eating around eight o'clock but I'm getting a late start, it's a little after 10. So I haven't had anything all day besides my green tea, my water and my pre-workout, that's it. So we're gonna be making our breakfast. And as you guys should know, if you've seen my meal prep video, I get six ounces of a protein, I get one cup of vegetables and I get um, a half of an apple or I believe it's three fourths cup of fruit. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that up. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. Um, I think I'm going to have, usually I prepped out enough egg muffins for me to have today, but I gave them to my fiance this morning because he wanted to try them. So I don't have those. So I'm thinking maybe I will do like a mixture of like egg whites, turkey bacon, and then I will do some fruit. I'm thinking that'll be really good. So let's go ahead and cook up breakfast. So when I finished my workout, I just went ahead and stopped at the grocery store because I needed a few more items. So I thought I'd share a little mini grocery haul with you guys. So I was out of fruit, so I picked up some of these blackberries. I also picked up some blueberries. 
and some raspberries because you can have fruit for breakfast. I believe it's three fourths of a cup of berries. Don't quote me on that. I got to check my meal plan. I'm always referring to that guide. And then the shrimp. I actually was not planning to get the shrimp, but it was buy one, get one free at um, Lowe's. So I just went ahead and got it. It's 41 to 50 shell on Carolina shrimp. I usually don't get the tail on, but it was on sale, so I picked it up. So each bag was $7, which is a really good price for a pound of shrimp. And then I got some almond milk. So I usually make my own almond milk. I have an entire video on my YouTube channel of how to make it. It is so easy to make, but I am out of almonds. So I really needed almond milk today. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna pick this up and then probably this weekend I will make my own almond milk. So this is the best brand that I have personally seen as far as ingredients. This one has no added sugar, which believe it or not is extremely challenging because most store-bought almond milks have artificial sweeteners or cane sugar and this meal plan you cannot have that so this one I found is clean you can have it it's organic almond milk I get the unsweetened one the unflavored one so don't get the vanilla one because that one's not approved for you to have so I got two of these because I go through these so fast with me having you know one to two protein shakes a day I go through milk like crazy and then I got a bag of onions because we were running out of onions and then I went ahead and took the vegetables out of the bag because I need to get them washed. I like to wash my veggies before I put them in the fridge. So that way, whenever I'm wanting a vegetable, I can literally just grab it out the fridge and start cooking with it. Um, so I got this broccoli that I need to chop up and wash. And I also got um, a bunch of asparagus that I'm going to chop the ends off of that and wash that as well. So that is a little mini grocery haul. So for breakfast, I'm gonna do turkey bacon. This is an approved turkey bacon. It has no added sugar. It's by the brand Applegate. It is Whole30 approved as well. It's really good. Um, I got this from Lowe's. I've also seen it at Harris Teeter as well. So it's a really good um, bacon. I'm gonna do two slices of this turkey bacon. And then this is the egg whites I use. And it kind of tells you the measurements on the back, which I really like. So I want two large eggs. So that's gonna be one third cup of the egg whites. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna do one cup of some spinach. And then for my fruit, since I did berries yesterday, I'm gonna do in half of an apple for my fruit today. So that's gonna be my breakfast. So I usually like to have my egg bite muffins in the morning. They're just really delicious and super easy to make. But since I had a little bit more time, I thought I would just like saute some egg whites with some spinach. And I just seasoned it up with just like some salt, pepper, and garlic. And I also had my turkey bacon cooking and everything takes like three to four minutes. It's super easy to make. So for this breakfast, you get six ounces of a protein. So I did three ounces of some egg whites, three ounces of some turkey bacon, and I did one cup of spinach, although it doesn't look like it because it wilted down a lot. And I opted for a half of an apple. You get a carb, so I decided on an apple, but there's so many different things you can choose from. I will leave it in the description box below for you guys. And here's how everything looks. I did top mine with some hot sauce, and it was really good. So now it is about an hour later and I am ready to have my protein shake. I shared with you guys that this is the protein shake that I've been using. I just mix mine with almond milk. It's really simple. Um, this calls for two scoops of protein powder, but my meal plan recommends to use one and a half scoops. Um, not sure why it recommends that. So I'm just gonna be following my meal plan. So I'm only gonna use one and a half scoops of this protein powder and I'm mixing it with my almond milk. And I'll share with you guys how I do that. So to make the protein shake, you don't have to use almond milk. You can definitely use water as well. I just find that this particular protein shake, I really like the way it tastes with almond milk much better. When it's mixed with water, it's not as good. So just find a really good almond milk. And I'm also adding collagen. I've been adding collagen to my protein shake. And then I also add collagen to my tea because it's recommended to have two scoops of it. And it's really good for joint health. Hey guys, so I'm coming to you from my car. I am actually at the mall right now. So tomorrow is my fiance's birthday. So I'm picking him up a gift. I actually already had his gift and he was gonna end up buying it for himself. Um, so I gave it to him on Christmas because I knew if I didn't give it to him on Christmas, he would have bought it for himself. 
So now it's the day before his birthday and I don't have a gift. So I'm at the mall to get his gift and I wanted to kind of just let you guys know that I am going to be having a lunch out in town today. So usually when I film a what I eat in the day video, I'm like cooking everything, but this is really realistic. Um, I'm planning to eat out for lunch today somewhere around here. I'll probably pick up a salad somewhere. I'm not really sure what I'm filling. Um, I had that protein shake, so I'm not really hungry right now. That's a plane if you guys hear that. Um, so I have the protein shake. I'm not really hungry, so I probably won't eat till like another hour. Probably have lunch around like one o'clock, and I will definitely share with you guys what I pick up. You can still be super healthy and eat out. Like you, a lot of people think that if you're like on this diet, you can't enjoy yourself. You can still eat out. I'm probably gonna like pick up a salad, like I said, but I'm gonna go run into the mall and pick up his gift. I also wanted to share with you guys my gallon water bottle it's so big it can't fit in frame but i have been drinking this so i'm actually ahead of the game i'm like at three o'clock and it's nowhere near three o'clock so i just try to drink my water as much as i can i have had this water bottle for a week now I've never missed my gallon, you guys, and you'll start to see that your body feels so good when you give it what it needs. I just have so much energy, and I think it's the water and just like the meal plan and being healthy. So let me go run in there, and I will see you guys when I have lunch. All right, so I definitely had to dodge the Girl Scout girls that were selling cookies because... Lord knows I wanted some of those cookies and I definitely can't have those. So I went the long way so I wouldn't even have to pass them. So this is the salad that I got. I went to Harris Teeter grocery store and they have like a fresh salad bar. I was trying to get some footage for you guys, but it was so busy. Everyone was getting a salad. So pretty much, um, you can load your salad with whatever you want and then they weigh it at the register and you pay based off how many ounces you have. So this salad was exactly like $7, which I think is a really good deal. Um, so I just have some spinach, some romaine lettuce, broccoli, I have some red onions, tomato, carrots, cucumber and some grilled chicken so it's a really good salad so technically for lunch i get a cup of veggies i get six ounces of a protein and i get a carb but i decided not to do a carb for lunch i pretty much just don't really like carbs on my salad so i just did an extra um just did extra veggies instead of a carb so and then my dressing is just going to be a little bit of some olive oil in some red wine vinegar so super good okay so it is several hours later and now i am ready for dinner so um i actually had plans it was on the meal plan which i typed all out nice and pretty for us to have lettuce wrap burgers and um we were going to have i think believe broccoli with that but my fiance has requested a meal and um, I made on Monday night, I made grilled shrimp and I made broccoli and he loved it. I loved it too. It was so good. So he's like, can we have grilled shrimp tonight? And I was like, you know, it's part of the meal plan. So whenever I like plan out meals, we don't have to follow it exactly. It's more so for like a guide so that we don't have any temptation to like eat out, but we switch things here and there. So he wants grilled shrimp tonight. I'm all for that. It's super delicious. So we're going to be cooking cooking up sorry I got a notification on my Apple watch we're gonna be cooking up a delicious grilled chicken and I'm gonna see if he wants broccoli or asparagus I have both in the fridge I'm kind of feeling both I don't know which one I want or we can even do both of that and so we're gonna have that and then I will probably pair that with some sausage as well I did that on Monday night I just like sauteed some sausage and it was delicious so let's go ahead and get dinner cooked up so before I get started cooking dinner, I kind of wanted to sip one tea a little bit as I'm cooking. So I'm going to be opening up my Sips by January box. I had to think about that. I'm like, what month are we in? We're in January. I'm going to be opening up my January Sips by box. If you guys don't know what Sips by is, I have been receiving them for several months now. I think this is like month five. I love Sips by tea. It's a subscription tea service. Each month you receive a new box. It is awesome because you get to try all these different kind of teas. So I'm going to share with you guys what's in my box. And on this meal plan, getting the scissors so I can open the box, you can have coffee, but you, you have to have black coffee. And I have really tried to get into black coffee and it's just not doing it for me, you guys. Like I've tried it multiple times and I just don't enjoy it. So I've kind of switched over to tea. 
I like to enjoy my coffee with creamer and all that fun stuff. And so since I can't have the creamer, I've just been really into tea and I love tea. Even when I can have coffee, I still drink tea. So this is an amazing subscription if you're into tea or if you're not and you want to get into it. You get to try all of these different kind of brands, which is really cool. So this is the box. And in mine, you just get this little card. This is my January tea box. And I'm going to share with you guys the teas I got. I got a Miracle Tree Super Caffeinated, which is going to be really good. It's a morning chai tea. So that is probably going to give me just as much caffeine or more than a cup of coffee, which is really nice. So and it also has, oh, it has caffeine tea in it. I thought it had said it had coffee in it, but it doesn't. So I'm excited to try this one. They gave me two of these or maybe four. I got four of these. And then the next one, I got a Serenity um, Tea, and it says a blend of cultures. So this seems like a really fun brand to try, if you can see the back of it. This is Loose Leaf Tea, which I like because you get multiple cups out of Loose Leaf Tea. And when you brew Loose Leaf Tea, I can reuse it. Like, usually I will brew it, and then I will reuse those same leaves, and then, like, make another cup because it's really strong, so I love Loose Leaf Tea. And then if you don't want to do it loose leaf, like I have like a tea maker. It also comes with reusable um, tea bags in every subscription box, which is really nice. And then I got an organic um, Yerba Original Blend Tea. Um, so that's really cool. And this seems to be a loose leaf tea as well. And then I also got a healthy tea. This one has black tea leaves and dried orange pieces. That one sounds really good. This is also a loose leaf. I personally prefer loose leaf tea because I feel like one, you can make it stronger if you want it stronger. And also you get more cups out of it. Cause like I said, you can brew the same leaves multiple times. I've done that a lot. So that is all of the tea I received for the month of January. If you guys are interested in checking them out, all of my viewers get $5 off their first box. So I'll have all that information down in the description box for you guys. So I'm just adding some ghee to the bottom of the pan so that way my meat doesn't stick. And I am gonna be chopping up this sausage. It is so delicious. I got it from Costco out the freezer aisle. It's in a blue package. I threw my packaging away so I don't remember the name of the brand, but I definitely shared this sausage on my channel in a Costco grocery haul. And then I'm also sauteing some shrimp. I'm doing one pound. So we definitely had leftovers, which was really nice because we were able to have some of it for lunch the next day. And I made a lot of sausage just because it had been in the fridge for a couple of days and I wanted to cook it up and we were able to have the sausage with some egg whites the next morning. So for this meal plan, I do get six ounces of meat. So I just kind of split it up between the shrimp and the sausage because I think they pair really well together. It kind of tastes like a healthy version of jambalaya because I know jambalaya usually uses rice, but it really did taste like a healthy version of jambalaya. It was so delicious. Now I'm just seasoning up the shrimp. You can use any seasoning you want, but I used salt, pepper, garlic powder, and you can't skip that Old Bay. That Old Bay is so delicious. And I was so happy to find out that Old Bay didn't have any sugar in it because a lot of my favorite seasonings have sugar in them and Old Bay does not. I was really surprised because it's just so flavorful and usually the best seasonings have sugar in them. Now we're gonna steam some broccoli. So I heated up a pot, about a cup of water in the pot, get it boiling, and then I add my little steam basket and my broccoli. Once my broccoli cooks for about three to four minutes, I took it off the heat, I seasoned it up with a little bit of ghee, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and some lemon pepper seasoning. It was seriously so delicious. So I kind of like estimate out my six ounces of meat, kind of know exactly what it looks like because I used to measure it when I first started this meal plan, but I kind of have it under control now. So I feel like I got the perfect portion. So here is my meal, a cup of veggies, six ounces of shrimp and sausage, really good. Hey guys, so it is a few hours later. We had dinner and now I am currently at a trail. We're actually gonna be going on a little run, kind of feeling super motivated. I did my kickboxing this morning, but didn't feel like I got a lot of cardio today. So I'm really wanting to do some cardio. So I am going to set a goal to run two miles. We're headed there now. It is freezing outside. So I'm gonna be running in this hoodie. My car says it is 54 degrees. So that's really cold, especially since it's been like in the 70s and 80s. So I will check back in with you guys soon. All right, so I finished my run. I did 
an outdoor run. I did 27 minutes, 2.23 miles. I did a light jog, not a run. And then I burned 256 active calories and 307 total calories. Great work, I'm glad that's over. Okay guys, that completes today's video. I hope you all enjoyed spending the day with me. I hope it gave you some motivation to kind of see like what I eat in a day. It's always changing, so if you guys wanna see more videos just like this one, give this video a thumbs up so I know to film more. Definitely consider sharing this video with a friend, a family member, anyone who's on like a weight loss journey. This would be the perfect video for them. I wanted to say if you guys just started the challenge, you guys can do it. I believe in you guys. Make sure you are following the meal plan. Make sure you're getting in three workouts a week at the minimum. Make sure you're drinking that gallon of water and you guys can do it. I believe in you. So I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye.